Well, the 19th century saw the popularity of the gin and tonic soar. Other gin drinks also became classics of our time. Cocktails like the White Lady. The Hanky Panky. <laughs> the Martini. <laughs> and the Gimlet. <laughs> in the 1850s is where we see the modern cocktail become increasingly popular in America. By 1860, the first American cocktail bar in England opened in London, just behind the Bank of England. Cocktails were all the rage. At that time, Jerry Thomas published the first and best-selling Bartender's Guide and Bon Vivant's Companion, with recipes for cocktails, which many of them were based on gin. He toured Europe with his own traveling bar, giving demonstrations to great acclaim. London was the center of English distilling, hence the description London Dry for this type of gin. Reputable distilling companies and quality producers made gin respectable and its upward mobility increased when it became an important British export. London Dry began to travel particularly to America where they had already discovered cocktails. The Gin Palace thrived, the cocktail hour was born and gin was again the drink of choice. Hurrah! <laughs>